In his first official interview since being sworn in as Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Dr. Terence Drew revealed a number of things, including that on his first official day of work, he made progress with some of his campaign promises. One is sourcing an MRI machine for the hospital, and also that the COVID-19 travel restrictions will be lifted in short order. The Prime Minister spoke to SK Newsline in an exclusive interview at his office on government headquarters Tuesday, August 9th. For example, um, with respect to the MRI, I told them that would be one of the first things that I will do. Also, the lifting of the, the, the ban with respect to COVID and traveling, I have also dealt with that. So as it stands right now, um, with the restrictions, the travel restrictions that uh, are in place, they are no longer in place. We lifted, I've ordered that they be lifted. They'll be lifted very quickly. Okay. So yes. Sometime this week we should get an announcement. Yes. That. Right. That and they will be lifted. And I met with the task force and I'm happy to report that based on the scientific data we can do it. So we are doing it safely as well. I also said that the children who needed medical care and whose parents couldn't afford it, that is one of the um, one of the issues that I brought to the Ministry of Finance and that one I will also pursue vigorously and we also looking at what we'll do with the students. So those things that we have promised, I've always said that they have been looked at, they had been looked at by our economic team, so they were never pie in the skies, in the sky type of things. Prime Minister Drew also disclosed that his cabinet will be sworn in on Saturday at 4 p.m. at the Warner Park. He did not reveal all the assignment of portfolios, but he did disclose that he would be in the Minister of Health and that Dr. Jeffrey Hanley would be Minister of Education. No hint as to who will be getting what portfolios, because we've seen some circulations going around. The one, well, that is not reflective of what I have planned. But I can clearly say that people know Dr. Jeffrey Hanley would be the Minister of Education. <laughs> I'll, I'll give away that one. All right, okay. And, and Minister of Health, I know you've been campaigning on health a lot. Well, very likely. I can also say that I will take health. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Prime Minister also officially confirmed that he assigned security detail and a vehicle to former Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris. My first act was really with dealing with the former Prime Minister. As I've said before, I have nothing personal against him. Everything I said was fear and factual in the campaign. And I was asked about his security and his vehicle. And I've said to the Commissioner of Police that he should be left with a vehicle and he should be given security. I am not interested in what the former prime minister did with the prime minister before him. I criticized what he did and said it was wrong. And so now I am in the position, I have the opportunity to set a new paradigm and that I have done. And I've extended that courtesy to him. And I'm also in inviting him to the inauguration. He's a former head of state and I think he deserved to be um, invited as well. The Prime Minister, along with the other five elected members of his soon to be sworn in cabinet and all the members of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party, walked down Church Street from Mass's house to government headquarters on Tuesday, the first official working day for the Prime Minister. Dr. Drew became leader of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party in November last year and led the party successfully back into government after seven years in opposition. The Labour Party won six of the eight seats on St. Kitts in the SNAP general election on Friday, August 5th. We'll have more from Dr. Drew's interview in subsequent reports. The full interview can be found on www.sknewsline.com on the homepage and on our social media pages. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.